We get more details on two new Nexus smartphones in the works iPhone 6S and 6S Plus will reportedly be more efficient in some ways at least. And Microsoft shows us how aggressive it can be with Cortana going cross-platform. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you're having a rough Tuesday, try adding some jet lag to that. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today have to do with OnePlus as the company has just teased something to be announced on June 1st and uh, even though we're not being confirmed that this is an event or anything like that, the company is uh, saying that it's time to change everything and we've got a OnePlus 1 in the uh, teaser. So it does seem that we are getting the OnePlus 2 and hopefully that's going to be the case. Up next, let's talk about Microsoft as the company has showed us just how bold it can be with uh, making its core services cross-platform. And uh, well, as it turns out, the company has just announced that Cortana is going to reach iOS and Android. And uh, the only problem is that this is the typical Microsoft way to do things, meaning they'll announce something today, but you won't be getting Cortana on Android until later next month. And then you won't be getting it on iOS until later this year. Uh, so yeah, it's coming. It won't control your phone's uh, services. Like for example, you won't be able to toggle Bluetooth or Wi-Fi with it, but uh, it will provide you Bing results. Now we do have some information on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Uh, trusted sources are talking about the camera. It seems that the Sony thing that we talked about yesterday is happening. But another interesting point is that apparently uh, we are getting uh, LED backlights for the iPhone 6S that are in lesser intensity than the ones we have on the iPhone 6. It seems that we're going for 0.14 modules instead of 0.60 if I wish I knew what this meant. But uh, the point being is that it seems that this will either be more efficient or Apple will need to add more to the next iPhones, or it could be that we're getting better display technology. This is some good news. We'll see what we get. Now, I've got some trusted sources talking about Android M in two things. First of all, the fact that there will be a developer preview when it gets announced in Google I.O., which is great. We're not sure of the same day, but yeah, it'll apparently be just like Android L. Now, other things claim that even though Android M might look a lot like L or Lollipop, it seems that it will focus is on fixing all the RAM problems we currently have with Lollipop, in addition to giving us better battery life, a more efficient operating system. Uh, let's just see if it applies to anything else that's not a Nexus. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, it seems that launching two phones is the way to go as uh, reports claim that we are getting two Nexus devices being announced at uh, not necessarily Google I.O., but uh, yeah, we're getting two Nexus phones. And uh, one is being built by LG, apparently codenamed Bullhead, as we do know that Google loves to use fish names for its prototypes. And uh, then we've got Huawei working on a codename Angler. The Huawei device will be the phablet, the LG device will be the smaller, regular size device, even though these are both above 5 inches in display size. And uh, rumors claim that apparently it could be that we will get them announced at I.O., but we won't get these phones until August. Uh, and that's probably in line with the rumors that Android M won't be ready until August. Now again, we're just uh, catching flies here, we're not really sure if that's going to be the case, but it does lead me to the question of the day. If you had to pick specific features for these Nexus products, what would they be? In my case, better camera quality. That's why I'm looking forward to the LG unit, but leave us a comment down below. What's your case? And friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.